Null is a special data type that represents a variable with no value. A variable can be a null if it's assigned the constant null, it has not been defined yet, or it has been unset. Let's go over all the three options. So the first one is null constant. So you could have a variable assigned to a null constant, and this is a predefined constant that is case insensitive, which means that you could use null all uppercase or lowercase or whatever you like. I personally prefer null all lowercase. Let's echo this out and we get nothing. And that's expected because when echoing something out, it is first cast into a string. And when null gets cast to a string, it will be converted to an empty string. And that's why we see uh, nothing on the screen. We can use var dump to ensure that it's actually null. So let's change this to var dump x and refresh and we get null. You could also use a function called is null to check if a variable is actually null or not. So if we refresh that we get boolean true and if we change this to an integer it's no longer null so we get false. Another way of checking if the value is actually null or not is by using triple equal sign comparison operator and don't worry about the comparison operator yet because we're going to cover that in more detail in the operators lesson but this is how you would do it. X triple equals to null and this will return true or false so it's pretty much same thing as calling is null on this this returns false because this is an integer and it's not a null if we change this back to null and refresh the page now it returns true another way a variable can be null is if it has not been defined yet so for example if we have var dump here x and we notice that x has not been defined and if we refresh the page we do get this warning that variable x has not been defined but the value of it is actually set to null. If we call is null on it, we'll get true and we still get the warning. And the third way a variable could be null is if you explicitly unset it. So for example, we could set x equals to 1, 2, 3, and then let's var dump x, and this is an integer, and now we could call unset x, which essentially just destroys that variable, and then we could try to var dump it right after, and as you notice in the ID, it will underline it again, letting you know that it's undefined, and if we refresh, we get the same warning and the value is still null. So let's talk about casting now. As far as the casting goes, as mentioned before, when null is cast to a string, it is converted to an empty string. So for example, if we have an x set to null and we do var dump x, but we cast this to a string, this will equal to an empty string. And this is what happens when you're echoing out x. If we cast this to integer, x will be converted to zero because null gets converted to zero. If we cast this to boolean, the null will be converted to false. And if we cast this to an array, it will be converted to an empty array. So is there a use case for null? Definitely there are a lot of use cases for null. For example, if you don't know a value of a variable, you could assign a default value of null. And then later within a control structure, you could assign the actual value to it. Also, there are more use cases like within classes and functions as return and argument types. But we'll talk about those in later lessons. This is it for this short video. In the next video, we're going to talk about arrays. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.